and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman, and today we're going to learn a traditional Israeli folk tune. Let's listen to how it goes. Sometimes a student asks me, what's with the words of this song? You'll notice it was just li 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 the whole time. Well, in Israel, that would be kind of like singing la la la. If you've ever heard the song Deck the Halls, we have fa la 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 la. That doesn't really mean anything, it's just a fun word to use when you're singing. Deb Kohora is a dance song, so it's a song they might have used for parties or fun times and dancing. Now, let's take a look at the rhythm of Deb Kohora. In Deb Kohora, we have a new kind of rhythm. It's actually one eighth note combined with two sixteenth notes. And it makes it sound like this, t ticky, t ticky. So it's really kind of half eighth note and half sixteenth note. It's kind of like they merge together to create this new rhythm. Let's try saying it together. Let's do this line two times. T ticky, T ticky, T ticky, T ticky. Say it with me. Ready? Go. T ticky, T ticky, T ticky, T ticky. So you'll notice that the T goes slower than the ticky. Every time you add one of these extra beams, the notes go twice as fast as before. So these two notes go twice as fast as this one eighth note. T ticky, T ticky. Now, for fun, let's try this rhythm, which I just made up using a few T tickies. And uh, be prepared for a quarter note, ta, and a rest, and of course our half note, which will go two. Let's try to speak this rhythm together. Go. T ticky, T ticky, ta, rest. Two, T ticky, ta. Great. Now, can you try saying it on your own? Point with me and speak the rhythm on your own. Go. Nice work. Now I have a challenge for you, and that is to see if you can help me figure out the rhythm or dictate the rhythm to Deb Kohora. I'll sing the rhythm, but without rhythm words, and see if you can hear where the T ticky is. Remember, you're listening for a ba ba ba. Ba, 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 ba. Can you point to the beat where you heard T ticky? Listen one more time now. Ba, 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 ba. Where's the T ticky? It was in beat number two. I had ba, 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 ba. Now, let's figure out the other beats. How many sounds did you hear in this beat? Ba, ba. If you said two sounds, you're correct, which means we'll need two eighth notes. Now, can you figure out these last two beats? Ba, 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 ba. What would that be in rhythm words? If you said t, t, ta, you're correct. Two eighth notes, then a quarter note. Now, let's figure out the next line. Ba, 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 ba. What did you notice? Can you point to the beat with the T ticky? It's, once again, it's in beat two. And you also might have noticed that the other beats were the same too. So even though the melody had a different shape of step up and step down, the rhythm was the same. Now, can you point to each beat with me and sing it in rhythm words? We'll sing T, 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 Ticky, T, T, Ta, T, 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 Ticky, T, T, Ta. Now, you try singing with me. Go. T, 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 Ticky, T, T, Ta, T, 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 Ticky, T, T, Ta. 
Here's the sheet music for Deb Kohora. Tell me what you notice. You might notice that we have these long curved lines. And you may recall that those are called phrase marks or sometimes slurs. A slur or phrase mark tells you to play all of the notes under that rainbow arc shape, or sometimes the, the arc shape goes this way. All those notes underneath there are played legato or smoothly. They're all going to connect into one musical sentence or idea. You also might have noticed that we're in 2-4 time signature, so we'll just fit two beats in every measure. Another interesting thing about Deb Kohora is you'll see the right hand is playing the chords and the left hand gets the melody. You might have seen that we have our T-tickies that we just learned about. One eighth note with two sixteenth notes. Can you find another T-ticky on the first line? Point to it. If you're pointing here, you're correct. Now today, since the left hand has the melody, we're going to be learning the left hand part first. Can you point to each note of this first phrase and tell me whether the notes are stepping, skipping, or repeating? We'll say start for the first note, and then you try it on your own. Go. Start. Now you go. If you said start, skip down, step up, step down, step up, step up, skip down, step up, you're correct. Now, in Deb Kohora, there's this one pattern that we're going to see several times. So I'd like to actually circle it. And if you have this music, which you can download from our website as part of the materials for this unit, it would be good to try this in your music too. This pattern of skipping down, lie, 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 and then stepping up happens a few times on this first line of music. So we have again a skip down, lie, 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 and then a step up. Can you find where that pattern next shows up again? Point to it. It's right here. So let's circle that pattern as well. Here's another time we have a skip down, then a step up. So we have lie, 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 lie. So these two patterns are connected just with these two little sixteenth note stepping up. Now can you find any other places where you also see that skip down step up? If you're pointing right here, you're correct. Here we have that same pattern again. Lie, lie, lie. And then what happens? We step up and then what do these five notes do? If you said they step down, you're correct. Lie, 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 lie. So fa, me, re, do. Just write down the pentascale. Now one thing we probably should have already done is figured out what is the letter name of this first note? Can you tell me? If you said A, you're correct. We have an A, then what's the next letter name? If you said F, you're correct. Let me squeeze it in there. And then what about this note? You said G. You're correct. A, F, G. That's this pattern that we're going to see again and again. And then F, G, A, F, G, A, F, G, A, G, F, E, D. Now let's try to play this on the piano. Now when we're learning new songs on the piano, more and more I want you to take responsibility for figuring it out. So can you tell me where to put your hand to start learning the left hand part. Remember, your clue is look at the first note and look for a finger number. Now, you should have figured out that finger one is supposed to be on A. You can tell that just by looking at the first note and looking for a finger number. So I've got my finger one on A, which places us in the D minor pentascale. Now, can you figure out how to play the first three notes, which remember is that pattern that we saw several times. Try it on your own without my help. Go. You should have played A, F, G. Remember, we start on A, then it skips down, then steps up. Good. Now, look at the next two notes. Can you tell me their letter names? 
If you said F, G, you're correct. And they're 16th notes, so they're going to go a little bit faster. Remember, we have T, 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 Tiki. Now, can you play the first measure on your own? Go. Good. Now, if you look at the next measure, you'll see our same pattern again of A, F, G. So now if we put it all together, we get A, F, G, F, G, A, F, G. Now, will you press pause and try that first phrase several times till you feel really confident with it, then press play to go on. Now, let's look at the second phrase. We have A, F, G, just like before, and then these five notes, what do they do? That's right, we already said that they're stepping down. A, G, F, E, D, or so, fa, me, re, do. So all together we have. Now, will you press pause and try that phrase on your own several times and then press play to go on. Now, let's listen to that entire first line. Then repeat. Now, why did I repeat? It's because of this repeat sign. Good, which takes us back to the start. Now, Press pause and practice that whole first line a few times on your own to feel really comfortable with it. Then press play to go on to line two. Now on line two, you might notice that we have some slurs, but then we also have these dots. Now this dot is called a staccato dot. We've recently learned about staccato when we played stepping and skipping. And you'll remember that a staccato has kind of a quick detached sound. Lie, 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 lie. Whenever you see a staccato, you're going to release the note quickly to give it a crisp, exciting sound. Lie, 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 lie. That's all legato. Lie, 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 lie. Whenever you see that staccato dot under a note head or over a note head like this, you'll make it staccato. Now let's take a look at the rhythm of line two. Here's a T ticky. So we have T ticky T T T ticky ta. Can you say that with me? Sing the rhythm words with me. Ready, point, and sing, go. T ticky T T T ticky ta. Now this part goes T ticky T T T. T ta. Then it repeats. Try it with me. Go. T ticky T T T ticky ta. T ticky T T T T ta. Good. Now remember how in line one we found these patterns of A F G or skip down step up. Tell me what patterns you see on this line. Do you see anything that seems to be a pattern? You might be seeing these four notes stepping up. Do, re, me, fa, fa, do, re, me, fa. So these four notes stepping up kind of becomes the theme or the pattern that repeats on this line. This time it repeats and this time it just holds. But then here it comes again, four more notes stepping up and then it changes and we have four notes stepping down after this repeat. Can you sing it with me in solfege? Starts on Do, ready. And don't forget in minor, because we're in D minor, we're going to have Me instead of Mi. Sing with me in solfege, go. Do, Re, Me, Fa, Fa. Do, Re, Me, Fa. Do, Re, Me, Fa, Fa. Me, Re, Do. Good. Let's try to play it. Okay, now in line two, We've got these slurs that lead us to two staccatos in the first measure. So we're legato, then staccato, staccato. Now remember, when you do a staccato, lift your wrist with a, a little quick but comfortable lift as you play the note. Ta, I mean, ti, tiki, ti, ti. 
Can you try that measure on your own? Ready, go. So remember to do two little wrist lifts as you play those two eighth notes with the staccato dots. T, T, K, T, T. Try it one more time on your own. Go. Good. Then the next measure is T, T, K, T. Then it keeps going T, T, K, T, 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 T. Then that repeats. Now press pause and practice all of line two and really work on a good staccato sound. Then press play to go on. Great, now let's listen to the whole thing. I'll play just the left hand part with the repeats. You're welcome to try playing along with me or you can just listen. I'll count two beats to get us started. One and two. Great job learning the left hand of Deb Kahora today. I have a super challenge for you, and that is in your own music at home. I'd like you to write in the letter names for all the notes of the left hand on the first row, the first line of music. That will be some good practice with your note naming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. that new rhythm we learned today. T ticky T ticky. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. T ticky T ticky. Makes me think of strawberry. Ooh. Makes me think of cranberry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that too, monkey. How about cry baby? Hey. Tooth fairy, grandmother, shoelaces, cat whiskers, fried chicken, big pumpkin. Oh. <laughs> You win. I can't think of any more. But if you're watching out there and you can think of another word or two words, right, one or two words that match the T ticky rhythm, share it with us in a comment below. Just remember to make it a good comment. Oh, you just won again. You know, you're pretty clever with words, princess. Oh, you're such a nice scuba. <laughs> okay. Game's over now. You win. We can stop now. Aw, oh, don't be such a sore loser. Ah, I'm done with the rhythm game. All he had to do was say please. Please stop it. Oh, good one, baby. Well, I suppose I did push it a little too far. Uh-huh. Hey, Scuba! Scuba! Yes? I just wanted to say, uh, I'm sorry. That does it! Hey, good one, Scuba! You got one! Scuba?